Okay, so here is a NHL 25 settings tour. So I'm just going to go through the settings. And uh, for those of you who are thinking about getting the game, I want to see what the settings are like and stuff. I'm going to go down here. This is the main page. You go to For You. Go down here, this little settings thing there. And you're in. All right. They have the accessibility. Just run through these. If you have color blindness, player name on indicator on the indicator size, you can change the size as large. Puck size to make it easy, easier to see, I guess, on there. And then they have the audio menu narration, so they, they they read everything to you. All the volumes and uh, audio mix, headphones, speaker, stereo, whatever you want. I use I use, I use uh, headphones. I leave it on that. Controller accessibility, enhanced uh, vibration, difficulty. So you get all your. So you can set the presets, which is cool. Chat. There's chat for uh, your chats. All right, let's go back out to um, quick settings. Here, this is this is this is. I like how they do. They do this in Madden now. Madden 25. You, just uh, however, if you're really good at the game, an expert, obviously, experience. If you've been playing the game for years, experience. That's where I, I'm not an expert, so I just go to the experienced. Then um, oh, this the note here: the NHL 20, uh, the NHL 94 controls are uh, hybrid. They're just the same. If, if you want to simple controls, which that's I actually prefer that. But there's a skill stick, and then there's a total control if you want to get more advanced controls. But if you're a beginner, I would go with the hybrid just to learn the basics. And then difficulty, they have rookie, semi-pro. Pro is pro, probably the best for most people. It's just uh, it's like the average. It's like right in the middle. It's the best one. I wish they had dynamic difficulty, but it's still MLB The Show is still the only one with that. All right, then you on ice trainer, your adaptive. This is it just yeah, shows your hints and stuff and uh, adaptive it adjusts to you. So it's, it's kind of like a dynamic thing there. And aim, you got aim assist or manual, whatever you want to do there. All right, that's uh, quick settings, game settings. There you go. You can yeah, you can save your presets. There's the length of the periods. You can go three to twenty, four or five. I think it does every minute right up to twenty. Yeah, two three is the default. Again, it makes a decent game. You don't want to do twenty because there's no in-game save, so twenty will take a long. Unless you want, if you want a really long game, there's the difficulties that I ran through those. The cameras, just your camera angles. You can go through those goalie camera if you want to play as a goalie. Your shots, if you want to do auto or manual aim assist, aim assist or aim manual. All right, there's that, and then. Uh, Let's go games and audio visual. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a auto zoom, all the visual settings you want. Whatever you prefer, you could just try different things. See what you like. Use a bit of argument, just make the changes, go in the game, take a look. Volume settings, you can adjust all the volume. I have the master volume at zero so I can talk over the game. But yeah, you would I would normally playing on my own, I would normally have it higher than that. Broadcast, you can get the play by play. Only for goals, off. So yeah, I like the play-by-play. -play. It's actually pretty good. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? I a nice trainer. This is the uh, the dad. I like. I recommend adaptive, but yes, yeah, it's, it's a, whatever you want to do. See, so this explains. I'm not going to go through the, all the details. This explains how uh, each of it has nice explanation of all these. So you just run through these here. But you can yeah, I'll go through them. You can just pause it and read them if you want. So yeah, so I, I don't want to read everyone. This video, I don't want this video to be two hours long. So go to that. Now we go down to controller settings. Let's just see how you, how you want to control the game. And then I like the I actually like the hybrid. Simple. I like the simplicity of it. Slap shot, circle, X pass, and you you can go through all these. Uh, yeah, auto. I like I like auto and all that. So yeah, you just go and this this shows you all the controls here. Just a how it all works. Offense controls. Here, I'll leave this so you can just uh, pause the screen real quick and see these. Here's the bottom of that. Face-offs. Yeah, use the R stick. Defense controls, there they are. Overview controls. Do all that. You can look at all that. 
point. Yeah, the controls are. I like the. Yeah, I prefer the hybrid controls, but yeah, if you want more advanced, uh, yeah, the total control is probably what you want. The yeah, fighting for the fights, battles for the net. Yeah, they got so many controls. It's, it's this game has quite a learning curve. You want to master the controls because there's a lot, lot to do here. But it's it's good because uh, it has something for everybody. All right, the rules. This is um. Yeah, the icing. Just see, yeah, what do you want to turn these off? You can turn like all the rules off, so you can just play without interruption. But if you want a more realistic, you want to do uh, have the rules on. You got injuries on or off, offsides on or off. Offsides can get annoying. You might want to turn those off, but it's up to you. If you want, it depends how realistic you want the game to be. It's just uh, seeing the sliders, and yeah, and then this is the, probably the best part of it. You just go through all the sliders, just show you everything here. So you can see all the. You just this is just going to adjust all this way to, uh, to your liking. I recommend you play a few games and then tweak things that you don't like to till you like. But the the defaults are pretty good actually. But you might want to tweak some stuff. Shooting, there you go. Shot accuracy. So yeah, and then you can. It's cool that how you can save your own preset, so you just load it up and everything's ready to go for you. Manual passing. And then there's there's a pair of little sentence or paragraph on the side there tells you it explains what it is pass intercept some are um self-explanatory and i'm trying to if they add, it's hard to remember if they added any sliders that weren't there last year puck control deking impact spin deke and they have everything here the goal the goal this is probably more these are probably most key sliders at how good the goalies are so you can make your goalies. If you want a lower scoring game, you make your goalies really tough to score on. And checking is basically hits and stuff, aggression, hitting power, all that stuff. Just run through it. Yeah, you can just uh, pause this stuff so just see uh, what I'm going through here. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of there's a lot of you could spend a, uh, a month just setting the sliders up. I mean, just this game. I like kind of like just go into the default and just tweak things as I play after each game. It's the best way to do it. But if you, if you want everything as perfect as possible, you probably play some trial games and see what it's like. AI learning. This is cool, the AI. This, this is um, how good, the, how it, how the AI learns. Which, yeah, six is probably a good way to do that. So it, it, learns, it learns quicker. And then, all right, let's go to the, the slider. That's like the main thing of the whole game. And the online settings. How you want your... That the uh, there's not much to that. Let's see, Chris, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's that's the uh, the uh, NHL 25 sliders. If you're thinking about getting the game, the game's pretty good. It's just it, it's uh it's the the key the key to this year's game is if you buy it around if you you want the Utah team that the Arizona moved to Utah did it that's you get you get Utah. That's a, if you haven't bought this game in a few years, I would recommend getting this so you get Utah. But uh, if you have 24, you might want. It. Unless you really, it depends if you really how much you want Utah. But I'm sure there's some differences I haven't noticed and stuff. But there's it's it's a uh, it's a nice game. Plays real nice. Looks as good as it ever has. I don't know if it's gonna be PS5 Pro enhanced. I know the NBA game says it is. But but um because they had the the little like label PS5 PS5 Pro enhanced on the PlayStation Store is on the NBA game. And I'll, I'm gonna have, I'll have a video for uh, the NBA game as well. That I'll go through those sliders as well for you, so you can check those out. Because sometimes when you're thinking about getting a sports game, you want to see what the sliders are like and stuff before you buy it. But I wish this game had in-game saves. Still doesn't have in-game saves, and it also um, doesn't have dynamic difficulty. I wish they would add those two things because that's that's one thing that MLB the show. The, the baseball, the football, and the basketball have in-game saves, but the only that MLB shows the dynamic difficulty, which is with AI becoming so big in the video games, I, I expect that we start seeing some dynamic difficulty uh, options in the in these games in the next few years, I would hope, because I, I, it, it works really well, on, or at least I think it works really well on MLB The Show, and they've had it for years, and uh, Madden used to have it. Madden 11 last had it. It was called Madden IQ. I, I liked it. And they got rid of it for some reason. So I'm hoping they bring it back with all the AI stuff going on. So um, so that's about it. If you, yeah, so yeah, check any questions, leave in the comments so they can answer about this game if you're thinking about buying it. But it's pretty good. 
And there's a little slider tour there of uh, NHL 25. I'll see you next time.